okay here we are once again I'm going to try and Dutch uh, this race at Dundalk uh, six furlong handicap um, what does concern me however is the market uh, is for all intents and purposes discounted the bottom two Grace Daisy and Alana Beg um, so it's a four horse race now I tend to try and Dutch to an 80% book um, and what we'll see here is that if I remove Grace Daisy and Alana Beg from the from the market or from my book um, we're looking at 91-92% book value um, with those top four and it's not until I remove fix it that I actually get myself under 80% um, but you can see that fix it is still a relatively strong candidate in here um, so the other option is I can select fix it and look at increasing the global offset so in other words I'm looking for a price three ticks higher on each of these runners as it is in this case and that helps to bring the price down um, but I have to add in you know, look for eight ticks more on each of these runners and I don't think that's a viable option to be perfectly honest so I'm going to set that back to, to, to zero uh, the other option I can do is to say okay let's see if we can get fix it uh, down on its own but I need to go with a much bigger tick offset and even then you know looking for 20 ticks above what it is at the moment and it's only getting us down to, to 86 so perhaps I need to go to something like 40 ticks to get it towards 80 um, and it's there's no way it's going if it's going to drift 40 ticks in all likelihood it's not going to win the race anyway so with that in mind uh, I'm looking at doing 76.8 that, that's that's a good return that's nearly 30 pounds um, if I take those prices just now but what I like to do is is wait until near the off um, if I'm going to place it pre-off simply for the, the market to settle and, and, and level out you, know, you tend to find that the book value uh, flattens off uh, and comes down a little bit uh, it's worthwhile checking fix it occasionally as well but it, it doesn't look promising um, so we're looking at 93 and I'm, I'm not going to risk 100 pounds to, to win to win seven um, albeit that the bottom two uh, you know have a chance but having said that if one of these gets a good jump out the gates um, and a couple of these don't uh, it, you know, it could be a little bit worrying so let's just do fix it for the, without fix it um, we're nearly off although there's probably a bit of delay to Dundalk and uh, we'll go with that and we're gone so it's really fix it is the danger here that uh, we obviously don't want um, the option also exists if these come in we could trade out uh, for a profit but let's see how it goes a six furlong handicap so let's wait till we're halfway through you can see fix it is coming in which is causing all of these to drift out a bit um, so we really need we really need fix it I think he's the danger Outside has come in very well as well. Uh, he may actually turn in to be a danger. Right, fix it's gone. There we go. I think we've got it now. We can obviously trade out um, just to guarantee, and it's worth possibly worthwhile doing that. But uh, we're okay. One of our picks is going to win. So you can see there that option where we had the option of. of uh, going with Count of Car Carabas and trading him out for about 20 odd quid and we could have done the same there with Wilshire here so we would have actually made getting him for 50 quid if we'd been quick enough to trade both of those easier said than done mind you uh, especially without pictures 
but um, that's good that's exactly what uh, we want uh, 29 pounds profit um, risking 100 um, and there is occasions when one of these excavators wins and you and you lose the f all of your stake um, however you know when you're winning 30 okay. pounds a time you know I, it's a lot less than one in four where you're losing um, you, you do get long winning streaks uh, so it, it, it works out quite well uh, you just have to be